universal stage adapter goes between the exploration upper stage and the crew module. So we serve a few different purposes. One, uh, we're the primary mechanical interface between those two components. So the astronauts and their module sits on top of us. Uh, two, we serve as the volume for payload. So the co-manifested payloads that go into flight uh, sit with inside the universal stage adapter. And then three, we're the electrical pass-through between the crew module and the exploration upper stage. The, the universal stage adapter will be the largest uh, human-rated composite structure to ever fly. Um, so that's what really sets it apart. Any And any uh, flight that requires both humans and payload uh, will utilize the universal stage adapter during flight. Behind us is the first of three articles. Um, it's the development test article or damage tolerance article, and it's being shipped out to Marshall for testing. It will make roughly a five-hour trip over to Marshall Space Flight Center. We'll offload it from the barge there and take it to the test facility where it'll get put into the test stand for modal and structural testing. Um, so we've intentionally introduced flaws or damage into the article. We'll put it through life cycle testing and show that it's capable of handling that type of damage. Uh, the second article, which is in manufacturing now, is the qualification article. Uh, it will be used to show that qual loads are acceptable. Um, and then the final article is the actual flight unit one build, and it will go through some acceptance testing, but ultimately it will get shipped down to the Cape for uh, first flight.